Hey folks, Matt Wilson, Product Manager for the Secure Threat Insights Group. And I'm gonna show you the quick way to get started with a new feature that we released in 13.9, which is integrating vulnerability management with JIRA. So for our customers that are leveraging the JIRA integration today, one of the things that they were not able to do is really interact with vulnerabilities and their JIRA instance. So we added this new feature. If you go to settings and check out your integration. So I'm just gonna look at my JIRA integration. It's already configured on this project. And I will see there is a new option. If I enable JIRA issue creation from vulnerabilities, it's really just three simple steps. And I'll show you what this does after we turn this on. So I check the box. I get this new option here, which is actually going to pull all of the configured issue types for the project, uh, the JIRA project that this GitLab project is integrated with. So I can hit that to pull a live list. What's cool is that this pulls back anything that's configured. So task, bug, and story, these are default or out of the box JIRA issue types. Vulnerability is actually a custom one that was configured on this project. I think that seems most appropriate here since we're doing vulnerability management. So we'll select that one. I will test the setting just to make sure we're successful. And I will save my change, that's it. So now let me take a look at my vulnerability report and we'll open up one of the vulnerabilities details over here. So let's say I've got a critical one here. There's a comment on it. Let me take a look at that one. Okay, maybe this is something that I, I definitely need fixed and I want to create a JIRA issue for that. So this is going to let me send information over to maybe an engineering team or whomever is working in these JIRA tickets. That single click copies all the information that was in that vulnerability. So I've got the same summary over here. I have all the same details that came from the vulnerability itself. And we've added this little link back to the GitLab issue side. So if you're working inside of JIRA, simply, simply click that link and it will take you into your GitLab project right to that vulnerability if you need any additional information about it. This is gonna require a reporter. So let's just put in my name here. And that's it. So now I've created a new issue directly in my JIRA project with all of those vulnerability details. You can see those were what was available on the GitLab site as well. And here's my link back. Now, let's see what happened to the vulnerability itself. We'll scroll down here. And you'll notice that it's actually added that new JIRA issue. So I have a reference from my GitLab site. I can, again, I can click directly to get back into JIRA and we've sort of closed the loop. So this is, again, this is great. If you're already using the JIRA integration with GitLab today, you can now move vulnerability information over into JIRA for proper remediation and, uh, and tracking. And that's it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.